IC accreditation for ENTs is very important. Um, what it does is it it says it provides a stamp of approval that our physicians, our ENT physicians, are qualified to read, interpret, and do their own CT exams. Um, and that's in significantly important for ENTs in today's environment. I feel that the IEC strikes a balance, you know, between just providing the answers and providing education. Uh, I compare it to being in a classroom, you know, it's not the teacher's responsibility to give you the answers to the test, but to help to prepare you to take the test. And I think uh, IEC does a good job of uh, providing us with information to help prepare us to take the accreditation and do it successfully. My initial impression is that I was going to be working with this tough regulatory body, you know, uh, as everybody jokingly refers to IEC as the imaging police. And so that was my initial impression that, you know, they were going to have this gavel and stand ready to, you know, uh, uh, tell my facility whether they were fit or unfit, you know, to do imaging. And what I realized going through the process is that, you know, number one, they're not a regulatory body, they're an accrediting body, and uh, that they're actually here to help us through the process, and that in the reality, they're committed to seeing that everybody meets these standards because they want, you know, they themselves want to see that we're providing a safe environment for our patients. It's reassuring to me to see them investing in making sure that we're providing quality imaging and, and, and a good product for our patients. I'd like to think that we would do this quality assurance on our own and that we'd audit on our own, but I think it's a good thing that IEC requires it as part of the accreditation.